Hey everyone, welcome to Princess of Gay. I'm your host, Connie, and today we are here with Season 2, Episode 4 of Fire Force. It's been a couple weeks, like two weeks since we got to this, and... <sighs> so, fun fact. I, uh, basically stayed up all night trying to get this downloaded. Um... I don't know what was is going on, but for some reason Chrome has been going really slow for me lately. Um, it's been like not really lagging, but it's just it, it it seems like it's using up so much processing power or shit that it's just I don't know what it is. I don't know what's causing it. I don't know why it's doing it, but it's it, it's causing it to go really slow and sometimes basically freeze indefinitely so i've had to you know close out of chrome completely and i've had to use like the task manager just to do that bring it back up uh and and try again basically and i i'm not even joking like apart from like dozing off a couple times while waiting it took me all night to get this episode downloaded. Um, and the thing is, this only really happens from one source. Nine Anime. Because Nine Anime uses, uh, I think it's MP4, is the download site it uses. And that site is so filled with just insane amounts of, like, pop-ups and um ads and whatnot and it won't let you do anything if you have ad block on so you have to have ad block off but it's like you have to go through a shit ton just to be able to even get to it much less download but with my with chrome also you know having these issues <laughs> And with me dozing off a couple times, it took all night just to get this downloaded. Like, I didn't get, like, real sleep. I just dozed off for short periods of time. So, I apologize if I seem tired during this as well. The thing is, I was, I was getting Fire Force from Anime Pahe before this. But, apparently, only the first three episodes of the dub are on Anime Pahe. The rest of the series, it, it just has the sub only. And it's like, don't do that. I hate I hate it so much. It's like, if you're going to start uploading the dub, finish. Just, just finish doing it. Don't just half-ass it and upload only three episodes. It's just... That irritates the shit out of me. And the only other option would be to watch it offline. To actually, instead of downloading it, to watch it just from the browser. And there's a lot of issues that can come into play with that, to be fair. So, yeah, it's just, it's been a really, really stressful night. It is currently 9.20 in the morning and it's just... I almost considered just taking today off because of it, but at the same time, it's like I, I took the last couple days off because of other reasons and whatnot, so it's just I I, I don't want to miss another day, you know? Plus, I've already, again, been putting this series specifically off for two weeks. Ah. <sighs> So we're, we're getting to it. Plus I have a movie to get to recording today as well. So there's that too. Um, but yeah, so if I seem tired, if I seem stressed out, if I just seem kind of like almost done with it, that's why. Um, it, it's not anything to do with this episode or this series specifically. It's just the, the shit I kind of had to go through to get this. If... The next time I get to this, if it keeps giving me this issue, I'm just going to watch it off the internet. Even if it's like going to have lag issues or whatnot, I'm just, I'm not dealing with this shit. It's like, 
I want to avoid this site as much as possible. If anyone has another site that they can recommend, um, I, I would be game for that. If anyone has any other uh, sites besides like Nine Anime or Anime Pahe that has like you know a good download uh, situation, I would appreciate it. But for the time being, we're just we're gonna get into this. Um, I, I haven't really talked much about last episode. We met Inca, the new pillar, and everything. And right now, it's kind of up in the air which side she'll choose. And I'm just really hoping she chooses the side good because it's like she's already been using her powers for not the best reasons. But she doesn't seem like a bad person, and it's like, I just, I want to see things work out for her, you know? But we'll see, we'll see. So, let's just get this going, and hope for the best. When the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to back, black, bleh, 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 bleh. I told you I'm tired. After it fades to black and fades back in, everything for that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So Inca is being captured by the White Clads against her will. She doesn't really want to go towards either side due to uh, just kind of this independent spirit she has. She she doesn't like being controlled. She wants to be her own person and not have to be, you know, told what's right and wrong and what to do and, you know. And on one side, you kind of understand it, but also she's also kind of wrong in the things she's doing and the, the way she's going about things. So it's like she does need some guidance. Um, obviously not from the white clads, but still. And while all this is going on, uh, the rest of the fire force uh, from Company 8, as well as the Alliant forces of 1, 2, and 5 are coming together to take out all the Infernals, including a Demon Infernal, who has popped up. And it's just it's just kind of a battle of numbers at this point. There's just so many of them, on top of the fires that they're starting that need to be put out. So it's like, they, they need to just get on that as quickly as possible. Um, unfortunately, due to the numbers, like, obviously, um, we can't have just, uh, Iris? Iris, yeah. <laughs> we can't just have Iris going around, um, ev between everywhere. Um, so luckily, thanks to some calls Obi made, they get, uh, a lot more sisters there who are able to help with that. Also, Tamaki has sister training, though she's useless in this because Tamaki is useless. Um, and it's like, I, I've ranted about this in the past, um, so I'm not going to go on like this entire tirade about it here, but it's like, my god, I hate her character. Because the series clearly hates her character too. It's like, oh, we're going to have this character who, like, we're going to try to make a point of she's more than what you what the surface level would imply and everything but then we're just going to make her a sex joke the entire time it's like they in, in season one they tried to like have this like kind of message with her like there's a lot more to her she has a lot of depth and she's got character and and, and everything that we we should be looking at rather than you know the sex joke. But the problem is, she's just the sex joke. Like, 90% of the time, that's all she is. And, and it's a detriment to her character. It's a detriment to the series every time she shows up. Because it's like, this is a very serious um, attack going on right now. 
Shit's very intense. And she comes in and this bullshit just starts happening. It completely breaks the immersion and breaks the feeling of the scene. And it's, it's not funny. It's not funny. It's not enjoyable. Like, it's not, you, you can't even take enjoyment from, from, like, the sexuality part of it. Because it's so poorly done. It's so just terribly handled that you can't even, like, enjoy anything about it. I've talked, like, again, I've talked before about how this series has done both good and bad fan service. And Tamaki just continues to remain really bad in terms of that. And I'm at least glad that most people seem to agree with that. It seems to be the common uh, consensus that Tamaki is extremely poorly handled. People do not like her. Um, on the other hand, another fan service character, Maki, is very well liked, and her fan service is handled well. Weird how that is, huh? It's like, yeah, she has fan service too, but it's not at the detriment of her character and the series. It's handled well and respectfully, and actually, in, in a couple cases, has helped her character, even. So it's like, there's just so big of a difference here. And it's insane. And I'm like, I'm, I'm good for fan service. I'm fine with that. As long as it's handled well. As long as it doesn't feel like it's there for the sake of itself. It's just like every time she shows up, it just irritates the shit out of me. Because it always hurts the episode, the scene, and her character every time she shows up and, and that happens. I'm just, I'm sick of it. I'm really genuinely sick of it at this point. Um, but we can see the fights are, are pretty even. Like, we don't see a lot of it, but Arthur versus Haumea seems to be pretty even. Um, Shinra taking on, uh, the big guy whose name I cannot remember seems pretty even. There, there, the only big thing is I don't think the white clads are trying their best. Like, the big guy, it's like, he, he's just there to get, uh, to get the fifth pillar, to get Inca. He's not there for Shinra. So he's not giving it his all in this battle. I think if he were... He would overpower Shinra easily, like really easily, and he's already kind of overpowering him. And kind of the same with Haumea, like she seemed almost like she was trying to avoid the fight rather than actually engage in it. She just found him like a nuisance, like a mosquito or something. She didn't want to actually like take him on, just wanted him out of her way. So I, I feel like if these fights were actually like the white clads were actually giving it their all it would be a much bigger squash for our heroes uh, well against our heroes you know what i mean um and i'm just wondering where it's going to go now because the white clads seem to have inca she's unable to escape their grasp and everything's kind of just not going well so we need some more allies, honestly. Like, we need Benny to come in. We need Princess Hibana. Speaking of fan service done actually well, uh, we always need Princess Hibana. <laughs> um, but seriously, we need, like, we need shit to really get taken care of here, if possible. Um, I could see this going either way right now. My biggest question, though, is what is going to happen with Inca? Because she is so insistent on not going with either side. She doesn't like the idea of the safety and, and, and peace that the Fire Force is offering her. And at the same time, she doesn't want to be controlled by the White Clads. So it's like, what the hell? What, what's the... What's going to happen? What, what's the resolution to this? I guess we'll find out. 
Um, and hopefully we won't wait two full weeks to get back to this. Um, as always, it's just whenever I feel up to getting to it again, but yeah. Uh, so sorry if I maybe wasn't as reactive as I, as I usually am. I was trying, but again, I am very tired today. Um, hopefully I, I still gave you guys an enjoyable reaction nonetheless. Um... Thank you all so much for tuning in, though, and let me know down in the comments below what did you think of this episode of Fire Force Season 2. For now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.